In today's video, I'm going to explain what factory reset protection is and how to use it and how to get rid of it. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, we're going to dive in and talk all about factory reset protection or FRP on all Android phones. So this has been available since phones with Android Lollipop 5.1. Today we're dealing with the Galaxy S9 and it has Android Oreo. And so this will work with all future phones. So FRP is the process which Google has incorporated into the Android software, where if somebody tries to factory reset your phone, that, and they're not authorized to, maybe they stole it or something, this software makes it so that the phone becomes useless. When they factory reset it, it goes to the lock screen and here you see that it is asking for an email. Now, the email that is required to get back into the phone is the original Gmail account that was added to the phone or other Gmail account that has been added to the phone. So today, we're gonna to talk about how to get it set up and what to do if your phone gets factory reset on accident or on purpose and how you can turn it off. So if you go into your phone and you go to the settings here, and then we go to clouds and accounts and we go to accounts right here. If you have a Gmail account right here, factory reset protection is enabled. So if you've ever added a Google account to your Android phone, it's automatically enabled. Now I have heard that you also need a pin code and then factory reset protection is enabled. So sometimes I've set up my Gmail, factory reset the phone and then I had no problem. But other times I had my screen lock type set to a pin code and as soon as you type in a pin code that automatically enables the factory reset protection so now if somebody factory resets my phone through the menu of the phone i'll show you that in a second then that would automatically be enabled on the phone so if you want to factory reset your phone make sure that you are going into your phone settings and either going into the general management option here selecting reset and then selecting factory reset, that should disable the FRP on your phone. But I would also recommend before you factory reset it, go in here, go into lock screen and security and change the pin to none. So you'd type in your pin and then select swipe. That will turn it off. And then you would also want to go into your Google account settings. So go to clouds and accounts and accounts and remove your Gmail account from the phone. So there I would select remove and there should be no Gmail accounts. And then I can factory reset the phone after I've removed the pin and the email with no problem. But today I'm gonna to show you what happens if I just factory reset the phone right now without removing any of those options. Now there also is another Samsung factory reset protection on here if you have added a Samsung account. So when you factory reset the phone, most of the time it will ask for you to type in your Samsung account. But today we are going to go into the settings of the phone and factory reset it so you guys can see what will happen if an unauthorized factory reset has been done. So typically you don't want to factory reset your phone this way, you would go into the settings of the phone and do it. But I'm just going to go through this little menu here. And if you ever try to factory reset, I do suggest backing up your phone through Samsung Cloud, through Google Photos, um, all the different options available. But today I've already backed up my phone to my SD card. So we are going to go into the menu and factory reset. The phone has now booted up and everything looks just fine. The first thing it does ask is that you sign into your Wi-Fi network and it is doing that first because it needs to verify your email account on this phone. So the next thing that it will ask is for me to sign in with my email account and I cannot get past that unless I verify my account. So here we're going to select next and then here you agree to the terms. And now it is asking me to verify my account with your Google account. This device was reset to continue sign in with a Google account that was previously synced to this device. So there is absolutely no way to get past this screen if you do not know the original email and password of the phone. So if somebody stole this factory reset it, it would be completely useless. So this is a way to prevent people from doing that. So 
If you come here and you do not know your email and password, you're gonna have a problem. If you go to the computer and try to log into your email account and you forgot your password, it will not let you log in here. If you go and do a password reset and change your password and come to here, it will not let you sign in. You will probably need to wait at least 72 hours once you do that before it lets you log in. So first, make sure that you always know your Gmail, email, and account password before you ever attempt that. Now, I could use either of the two emails that I had signed in on this account. Okay, I have my email up here. There I have my password. I select next and it says the password is wrong. Let's try again. All right, so here I need to select try again and there I had the correct password. All right, so it has verified my password and now the phone is unlocked and I am able to use it again. Here it's asking me to add a phone number to make sure that my account is secure. So now it's gonna take me through the setup process. It's asking me if I want to add that email to this phone and then it's gonna take me through all the setup just like this was a brand new phone. Here I could restore from an existing backup. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that later, but here I'm going to skip past all of these so that you can see that the phone fully works. So here we're going to agree. We're going to go next, sure, turn it on. And we are all done. So now my phone is back to the factory reset. So everything on my phone has been deleted, but I have access to my phone again. So if you ever need to factory reset your phone to sell online, or to give to somebody else, make sure that you remove your Gmail account and your pin code before you do that. And also you could go through that introduction and get to this page and verify that it does not require your email. And that way you know that factory reset protection has been moved. Again, this will work on phones that have Android 5.1 or newer. So all Samsung, LG, all those different devices do have support for this. One last thing I wanna mention that if you have a Samsung phone and you can't remember your email or password and you have a proof of purchase, a receipt from purchasing your device, I have heard that if you call Samsung, you can send it into Samsung and they have software where they can remove the factory reset protection lock if you can verify that you actually purchased this phone. But that might be the only possible way to be able to remove it if you don't know the email and password. And there you go, that's how you use factory reset protection on Android phones. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.